Hey everyone, it's Mouse is in the House. I am Brian, and happy Easter to everybody. It is Sunday morning here in the Smouse House, and today I'm going to do a World Silver grab bag for you that I got from AG Chopsticks. I will put his channel link down below. A uh, really cool guy. This is the second grab bag I've gotten off of him. Uh, basically, with his grab bags, um, he just kind of gives you a general idea of how much silver is going to be in it. Uh, maybe he'll tell you there's going to be a crown size coin or one ounce silver coin like that's guaranteed. You know, maybe a certain amount from the 1800s or older. Things like that, but he does not give you any kind of you know, indication of what's actually going to be in the grab bag. Um, so, let me show you what I got this time. I'm always happy with um, both the grab bags I got. Uh, so it's pretty cool. We have a one boulevard if that's how you pronounce it, from Venezuela, 1954. You can see here, 83.5% silver. And we're gonna start them off flipping them the wrong way again. So, really nice detail still on the back of this one. I think I have one of these, but mine's much more worn, if I recall. Uh, these I have a few of. These are Fairly common, um, Philippines, 75% uh, silver, this one's a 10 centavos. Uh, we also have the 20 centavos from the Philippines. Uh, this one I did not have yet though. This is the 50 centavos. Um, all three of these are 75% uh, silver. All have the same design, but and they were all 1944. Uh, U.S. government minted these for the Philippines, but I didn't have this one yet, so I was real happy to get that one. That was pretty cool. Uh, now we'll go to a little bit older coin. Guatemala, 1894, a uh, two reals. Uh, this one's 83 and a half percent silver. Does definitely show its age. It has pretty good amount of wear. You can still make out everything, two reals, Guatemala, all that stuff uh, on the back. I flipped it the right way the first time and then changed it. <laughs> uh, there's your 83.5% silver. Not in terrible shape though. It is 1800s real though, which is always cool have here a German half mark from 1914, 90% silver. Dang it. I don't know if we'll see if we can focus on the bird. And I also have a little bit older, 1886, one mark from Germany. Also 90% silver. There you can see the image pretty good there. And like I said, it's a one mark. Now this is a large coin. A lot of you are probably familiar with this. It is only 10% silver though. Uh, it's a un peso from Mexico. Netherlands Attilies, 1952, one golden, or gulden, a gulden tag, 72% uh, silver, sorry for that joke. Sweden, one krona, 1950. Don't see the silver content on this one. I didn't look it up beforehand either. It's like, not sure exactly what how much silver is in this. Looks by the weight, it'd be a lower silvage coin, lower percentage silver, but I'm not sure. Uh, these are pretty common too. Uh, France, 50 centimes, 1918. 
This one's in pretty nice shape. Uh, this one, I, I like these coins. I do have two of these. Uh, 1873, five francs from Belgium. 90% silver. So, and you can see it's almost uh, three quarters of an ounce. So this is a crown size one I was telling you about. Now this one's really cool. I do not have one of these yet. I don't think I have any Japanese silver. No, wait, I do. I have a, a more modern one cent, I think. Or a hundred, a hundred again, hundred cent, I don't know. Don't mind me. <laughs> Anyways, this one's really cool. I did not have this coin yet. 60% silver, 100 yen. So, real happy with that one as well. 1970, 1927, 50% silver, six pence. This one's got some wear to it. A uh, fairly common coin as well. Never get mad at world silver. Australia, one shilling. And it says this one was minted in San Francisco. It's 1943S. That I did not know. I'm not sure if I have one that was San Francisco minted, or else I just don't know that I did. It's got the RAM on the back. And then also in this grab bag, he included. One ounce silver. Anybody want to guess? Australia? We have a kookaburro. This is my first and only kookaburro that I have. It's a 2021. Four nines fine, one ounce. I guess that's a reverse proof. Very cool. Thank you very much, AG Chopsticks. Uh, I look forward to the next one. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm going to put the link down below. Check them out. And y'all have a great Easter. I'll see you next time.